Hi, I'm gonna fly if the winds aren't too bad. I'm gonna have to kite first and get this thing all unclipped from my van. I was at the paramotor community uh, page on Facebook and somebody posted a really cool setup they made for their paramotor to hold it inside of their vehicle. Um, they, have, they had a trailer, but the way they hooked it up gave me a pretty decent idea of how I wanna do mine. Cause this is kind of ghetto and it still rocks around a little bit too much way more than i'm comfortable with i'm gonna put a clamp or something that holds the bottom down because this is my main problem is the bottom comes up when i have everything clamped tight it like lifts it it'll be better if i put like a clamp maybe on both sides here clamp them down hold them tight to the ground and then have something that maybe clamps right here to hold this tight um, I don't like keeping it by the door because I feel like if there's like a big bump or something it could just knock the doors out with the weight of this. Um, these doors aren't very good. There's a hinge on one of them that has some really bad welding that from the guy who had the plan before me. Anyway, yes, John helped me get the modem so everyone who's here today to watch can thank John. Um, he helped me be able to afford getting the modem again this month so that I can actually do it live. Because I've been flying. If you aren't subscribed to my paramotor IRL channel, it's on the front page of my channel here. And you can go subscribe there where I've been posting my more recent flights. And the last flight I did, it was a little gusty, so I came right back down. And I'm gonna do the same again today if it's bad, you know. Forecast says it's like two to four miles an hour. And actually, I can show you guys because I don't have the commands on, but I can do it manually. I should be able to do it manually because I, I haven't finished setting everything up for this year. Let's see if I can switch. So this cam. Let's try this again. So that should show weather but it's not showing my cam. All right, now when it plays back, let me see if you guys, guys can actually hear me. Okay, so my audio cuts out when so I do that. Okay, weather. I will have to add that when I'm at back at home, but it's good. It's six o'clock here, so I don't wanna to take too much time chatting. Let me just set up and focus on this. And then if I'm not talking, it's just cause I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully everything goes well and I can get up in the air. I'll chat with you guys if I'm able to. Because it seems like the forecast says it's going to be nice and calm today. But I do feel some gusts coming through, so it could still be some thermals coming up from it actually being sunny today. Hasn't been sunny like this in quite a bit. Because last time I flew when it was sunny out, there were still clouds. Now there's nothing in there. Let me show you guys this because I didn't really show it very well before. So there's these little clips that go on the rods for my cage and they hold them in with this pin that's in here. So I had to make another one because I lost one of them here and put a pop rivet through it. So the guy who trained me, Chris, he, I was asking him for some suggestions because I was going to put a screw through here and then like glue it down. He's like, why don't you just use a pop rivet? I'm like, oh yeah, because I already had a pop rivet gun and that's what I fixed my cage with when some of those netting pieces came off so far it's held up i did print another one and that one broke as soon as i went to go put it on it was a cold day though so i'm going to chalk it up to that because this one's been fine and i also did put a larger pop rivet through it so it might have already had some stresses on it Throw us, all right i do need to pull this thing back some because i feel like it's going to come loose like i need to get something on that that little metal thing that's on the on the throttle. I don't trust it. I've heard of those coming off before and I feel like mine was a little bit longer than it is right now. Maybe because it's cold out. <laughs> Am I looking fresh? All right, wind's still going same direction, so that's a good sign hasn't swapped out on me. So let's get the wing in the air. OK, 
Okay, gonna double check the winds on my on my app. Two miles to six mile an hour winds in my area. The other app, let's see what that says. 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Oh, that's all the way up at 6,000 feet. It's like 30 mile an hour winds. But down here, it still says 2.8. At 1,000 feet, it's 11. It's nice and steady, according to that. Check the flight radar. See if there's any, I don't see any airplanes. I don't hear any airplanes. Skies look clear. I see one, but I ain't going that way. And he is 10,000 feet up. I ain't going that high. He's going the opposite way. All right, what else? And then this is waiting for me to take off. So let's do this. He's on top. Got my brakes. Got some wind. Yeah, let's do this. It's nice. Are my trims pulled down? Yeah. All right, good. This should be a decent takeoff. All right. I'm just trying to bring her back as far as I can so I have plenty of room in case anything happens. That way, like, you know, you get an engine out or something stupid and you still have room to land. So what I do is I bring the wing up and if a wind, a little gust of wind blows, usually we'll push the wing back just enough and I can walk back with it and then let it fall and keep going further back. And then I can look at the wind sock too that I have. Look at how easy this should be, if John, if you're watching. Look, I put my hands on the mallions for the, the A's. I don't have to grab all four. I'm just grabbing the, the front two, which is what you normally have when you go to take off. Barely pulling it, look. As long as you pull that towards you, wind comes right up. And as soon as you let go and slack on, that, on those A's, it's gonna fall back. So um, anytime you see the wing falling back, you just pull the A's again and they'll go into place. And then you just gotta learn to stay underneath the center, really. And uh, always keep the brakes out in front of you, not towards your chest, because otherwise, if it's towards your chest, you're giving, you're giving too much slack to the, the leading edge, and then it just falls. If you're doing it this way, where the brakes are more towards out away from you, you can easily navigate the wing like left and right when you need to. There's no wind there at all. I still picked up the wing. See, look at that. I'm just holding the reds down towards me, and as it's going up, I can pull back on the brakes a little bit. Okay, there's a nice little gust, but not enough to even pull me up too much, but it is kind of throwing the wing around right now. Let's see if it's steady or not. Yeah, doesn't really feel too bad. At first when it hit, it was kind of stupid, but then it kind of smooths out, smooths out. So it could be just from the, the houses and trees over there, not what's up in the air, but we'll see. Let's, let's go warm up. The moon. The moon is right there. It's a little tiny today. Okay, clear prop. planes waiting for takeoff let's go bird up
there's a there's a couple little breezes here but uh overall it's not horrible it just catches you off guard sometimes you know let's go back towards the wind though Here we go. I'm gonna go over here by this field and then I'll turn around and come back. It's chilly with the wind blowing past me with this fan. You know what I mean? Just dealing with it. Taking me wind. Let me come back down and then we'll see how the winds are down below because I don't want to be landing if it's going to get harder with the, uh, these little gusts. So we'll see. We'll come down low. If I can land, I will. Maybe I can get a little closer to the van this time. I need to lose some altitude here though. I'm still a little high. more time. There we go, that's better. about that one. It got a little too bumpy there at the end. 
So I said, screw it, I'm going back up. I never really uh, use the engine to get further. I usually just land. So I'm trying to learn how to do that. in this way this time. We're down. All right. Let me uh, put the engine down. Make sure we're all still good. Did you guys enjoy that? Oh, we are still here. Nice. I thought it would, uh, might have cut out or something because I don't have the cables wrapped up in the proper thing like I normally do, but hey, that worked. That was a quick little flight, but yo, it's cold up there, man. No, no pain on the ankle. Once you start learning how to land, it's nice. Man, I wanna go back up, but it's fucking cold and I need my jacket. Let me push myself up there and then maybe we could do this quick enough because I still got some time. Man, look at that sunset too. I really wanna see that before it goes down, like behind the, the horizon. Yeah, I don't think she's up. Cause she'd be on the stream if she was. Oh well, I'll freeze it out for one more flight. I know I'm gonna be good, but like I said, in case anything goes wrong, I wanna have room to land. Cause you can't really turn low. You'll just dive into the ground. So we'll just go here. And we'll run up that way where the wind's coming from. <laughs> Sitting here waiting for that thing to move. It ain't moving at all. It's just easier to set up the wing when you got a little bit of wind because you can pull it up and straighten it out. Oh, now it's gonna blow a little bit. That's how it works when you let it go. It's like, okay, now. Look at that plane. Chemtrails, just kidding. Am I even allowed to say that on YouTube anymore? It's like they police everything we say now. Hey, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I fly. Sometimes I feel like I'm just sitting here talking to myself while I am. But like having you guys on stream is like, it's almost like you guys are flying with me. Clear prop. Four thousand, three thousand, where are they at? Oh, there's one of them. I see him. 
All right, where's the other one? And the other guy's going still. There he is. I see him. The lower one's right here and the higher one's up there. So there's the 4,000 guy. Here's the 2,000 guy. Why are you coming right at me, bruh? Keep going. I need to get up there. You're in my way, bruh. All right, back to blaring music and taking off for a few minutes. Enjoy the flight. Nothing. I'm gonna have to go with nothing. Right up. Sleeves going up is the worst. It's fine when my sleeves are like on my wrist, but as soon as they fall from the wind and wind going in my belly through my my uh, shirt, it's cold. To go wake up Ashley. I'll get a little bit of a headwind on the way back, so that might help me uh, get some altitude on the way back. I'm gonna go make some noise by the house, wake her ass up. Unless she's in chat now, I don't know. We'll see. Woo. A little rocky there. It's so weird being up at the altitude that I'm normally flying my drone. It's about this anyway, it feels like it is. Should I just land at home? Fuck it dude, let's land on my roof. I'm coming home. switch my camera because I got some some bumps going on in the air so I don't want to fuck around with my phone but we'll do it sometime and land.
I start losing some altitude. Turn this music down a bit. Everything looks good so far. and I still got my sunglasses on. Can't wait to take these off. We did it! Two flights! Hell yeah, I didn't get to really fuck with my trims. That's fine. We'll do that another time. But uh, I had fun. Hope you guys had fun on those flights. Let me go ahead and take this off. Look at that, no wind at all on that landing either. I had to flare pretty hard with all this extra weight on me. I've been thinking about going another inch in with my brakes, just to give me a little bit of extra flare when I'm landing, because I feel like I could pull some more than I can, because my, my arms are too short, because I'm a little guy. So like, I can pull down to my butt, but I feel like there's more, and I don't want to wrap my hands around the toggles. I, I feel like that's a bad decision. I'm gonna, at some point, probably go like half an inch first, and then uh, a full inch, and see how much that changes how much I have to pull to flare because with this extra weight, I think it'll help me land a little softer. I didn't land hard, like, I don't feel like I landed hard, but like I know I can land even softer. All right, man, well, with that said, again, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna get going here so I can go ahead and pack up. It's nice out. But I'm glad you guys got to see the flight though. I was worried there for a second it cut out because I, I had a decent landing and everything. So I'm glad it overall it went well. But yeah, good night guys. I'll see you guys on the next one.